You sure you don't want that beer now? Or maybe something stronger. I have absinthe. Maxie left it. I think you're guessing. About Michael killing Claudia? I followed you that night, too. You might want to be a little more observant next time. What if I wasn't a friend? Can you tell me exactly what you think you saw? Well, I think that I saw you find the car wreck. I think you and your girlfriend lit out for the cabin. And I think I could have been driving a forklift and you wouldn't have noticed. Where were you? Right behind you. Horror show. Sonny's ex-wife laid out on the couch in shock. His wife lying dead on the floor. And Michael kneeling over her with the murder weapon. I couldn't have staged it better than What do you want? even try to spin this. Michael got to the cabin after Claudia was beaten by an unknown assailant. Maybe Carly did it. Or maybe Claudia whacked herself okay, with the accident. Your, you made your big impression, now what? Do you think that's what I wanted, to impress you? Get over yourself. There are things about me, things you can't even begin to imagine. Tell me. <sighs> Why? You gonna turn me in? After everything I've done for you? With Joey Limbo? He said I was harmless. I'm not harmless. I believe that. Why is this kid so important to you? Michael offed his stepmother. It happens all the time. I once did a piece on a 10-year-old who took a blow I have porch. to protect Michael no matter what. No, you don't. You just tell yourself that. You pretend like you don't have a choice. You're a killer because you want to be. It feeds something in you nothing else no, ever has. No, it doesn't. It's a bad thing. You're a genius. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. I've heard enough of this. You can't just leave. You already left unfinished business at Front Street. Clean this up. You know you want to. What? sorry that I have been neglecting you and now I guess I'm just gonna have to do something to compensate tonight we're gonna focus on us we can do anything you want anything I'm not sure this is the most opportune time no 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 look see I'm, I'm gonna turn my phone off there will be no interruptions no phone calls no work emergencies and if Kate gets all huffy then so be it you know I need it's time I reprioritize my life Nothing's more important to me than my sweet and sexy non-husband. I haven't been making the greatest choices recently, Spinelli, and I promise you that I'm gonna fix that. You mean everything to me, I love you. Is that all, all you wanna tell me? That's my promise to you. Hey, I have an idea. Um, why don't I put our song on the jukebox and we could dance? Maybe you could sing to me again? We could get rid of that, get a couple orange sodas? What do you think? Um, I'm afraid I have to decline. I, um, I have some pressing business matters to attend to. You have to go right now? I mean, I wanted to make everything up to you. I promise you won't be sorry. I guess I'll have to wait. Okay. Call me later. Okay. You carry a silver Beretta 9mm, if I recall correctly. So what are you waiting for? Why don't you whip that sucker out and blow pieces of me all over this studio? Who could tell? Is that what you want? There you go again, refusing to own it. What I want? Come on, you've killed dozens of others for less reason. And you'll feel so good after. Have you had your fix today? You want me to get 
get caught. You're right. You can't just kill a celebrity in his studio and expect to walk. You need to lure me to some place not associated with either of us. The Pine Barrens is out. <laughs> There's probably a cemetery worth of corpses in there that you've dumped. You know, do you ever think about putting up gravestones in a little visitor's booth where you can hand out flowers and maps? You're trying really hard to make this happen. I don't have a death wish. Not for myself. I'll keep that in mind. Franco is completely crazy. What happened? We talked. I mean, Franco did most of the talking. He's, he's a smart guy, but he is completely obsessed with me. Okay, what did he say? He's uh, fixated on death and killing. And he said he's a big fan of my work. Like I'm some kind of artist or something, but everything he's been doing was to get my attention. To find everything. He's been following me for months, Sam. He knows that Michael killed Claudia. And this guy is going to use what he knows to get me to play his game. Precisely why the jackal is here. Who is he? Who? This jackal. Oh, he's I. Me. You too? No, he's me, not I. You. Me? You what? Uh, perhaps we should begin again. From the top. Allow me to introduce myself. I've ever seen a throat slit, Spinelli? Neither have I. What do you think it's like? I can only imagine. Graphically? Now there comes a time in an artist's life when he needs to experience the world firsthand. Wouldn't you agree? Well, I would say that would depend entirely upon the experience. I'm glad you're here. Apparently. What we have here is a failure to communicate. I need to send a message. And you are 